All right, in this video, we are gonna talk a little bit about more about the composition f of g and then how to work some of the Newton problems. Um, so first, what is f of g? So f of g is a single formula for the following two-step process, all right? So um, you can take a number and plug it into g, right? And then you'll get some output based on what that is. And then what you would do is take that result that you get and then plug it into F and then uh, see what you get out of F, all right? So you take it, a number, plug it into G, you get an output. You take that output and then plug it into F, you get another output, all right? And so what happens when you do F of G, you basically get one single formula for that two-step process. So instead of having to do two calculations, right, then you just plug it into f of g and it will give you the result of that two-step process. So let's take a look at, at that um, with a pretty simple example. So um, let's take a look at let's do um, let's say f of x is to uh, let's say 2x plus 1 and then g of x is um, let's say x squared so that's pretty easy okay so when we go to calculate f of g looks like this right f of g of x and then g of x is x squared And then uh, we're taking f, right, everywhere we see this variable, which is an x, in this formula, we are replacing that x with x squared. So it would be 2x squared plus 1 is what you would end up with, okay? So um, that is the formula that we'd get. So now let's say that we um, plugged in a 2 to g, okay? We plug in a 2, we get 2 squared, which is 4, right? And then we're going to take that 4 and plug it into f. All right, so f of 4, we would plug it in here. That would be 2 times 4 plus 1, which is 8 plus 1, which is 9, okay? All right, and so now uh, what this composition of functions is, is a two-step process for this, right? So over here, we've, we've already calculated the composition of those, f of g. All right, and so now watch what happens when I just take the uh, two that we originally plugged into g and plug it into the composition, right? We get two times two squared plus 1. So going by the order of operations, it's going to be 2 times 4 plus 1, which is 8 plus 1, which is 9. Right? So it's no coincidence that these um, came out to be the same number. If I take any number, right, that's in the domain of f of g and plug it into g, get that number and plug it into f and get that number it's going to be exactly the same as if i plug that number into the formula for the composition of functions okay so this formula right this one that is the composition of functions right so right here right is a single formula for this two-step process all right so um the problems some of the problems in Newton, let's take a look. Uh, this one that we just did. Is very similar to that, right? And they say, given the functions f and g below, find f of g of 3, right? So what you would do on that one is take and plug in. Let's see if I can get these both same time. So what you would do on this problem, right, is 
they want to know what oops let's turn that back here they want to know what f of g of 3 is right so what you would do is calculate g of 3 right over here g of 3 is 3 minus 3 which is 0 Alright, so if I take and I plug that 3 in here, I get a 0, right? And then I'm going to take that 0 and plug it into F. So that, plug it in here. And the formula for F is minus 4 times 0 minus 6, which is going to come out to be minus 6. Let me, there, I keep writing too far away here. Okay, so that's what you're going to do on these particular problems, right? F of G of 3, right? You're going to plug in the 3 to G, see what you get, or whatever the inner one is. They might ask it like G of F or F of F or G of G as well. So whatever the inner one is, right, you would do that one first. Plug the 3 in, in this case, to G and see what you get. Take that result and then plug it into whichever the outer one is, right? In this case, it's the F, okay? And then that number that you get is going to be the. Um, man, I keep messing that up. That number that you get is going to be the um, the answer. All right. All right. So let's take a look at some of the other ones. All right. Evaluate the composite function given a table of values. So in this case, they give you a table of values. It's gonna stop doing that. All right. They give you a table of values. And they want to know what g of f of 2 is. Okay, so g of f of 2. So the first thing that you would do, right, is figure out what f of 2 is. So f of 2, going by the table, right, you would look at the value for x. And then f of 2 would be this number right here. So that would be 3. So that number would go right in here. So g of 3. And then g of 3, right, that would be, look up 3 here for x, and then go over to the g column. That would be 5. All right. So g of f of 2 is equal to 5. So again, we're doing the inside one first. Whatever number we get, that's going into the outer one. All right, and then one more type, I believe, is with the graph. So let me pull one of those up. All right, and for this, I'm going to just go ahead and take a screenshot of it so I don't have to reproduce the graph at all. Okay, so it says, given the graphs below, evaluate the composition of functions f of g of 2. All right, so again, we're going to go ahead and do this inside one first, right? So g of 2, uh, here I only have the graphs, right? So what I would do is find 2 on the x-axis. It's right here, right? And then I would go to where g is. g is that red graph, right? So I would go down right, to where the graph is, and then look at the y value there. The y value is negative 1. And so I would just completely replace that with a minus 1, right, because g of 2 is minus 1, going by the graphs, okay? So find the value on the x-axis, locate the function, and then look at the y value. 
All right, and then now I just need to do f of minus one. All right, so again, what I would do is locate negative one on the x-axis, right? And then go to where f is. f is the blue function, right? So I would go up, right, to where the graph is and then look over, right, at the y value. And so f of negative one is equal to uh, three, right? So f of g of two is equal to three. Okay, so that's how you would do it graphically. All right, I think that uh, concludes this uh, section.